Hello, and that was, of course, a few bars from George Harrison's great song from 1970, Here Comes the Sun. I'm Father Steve Sellers, and thank you for tuning in to my YouTube channel today for my daily message of hope and inspiration. And I do hope and pray that your day is off to a wonderful start and that you are already filled with hope and uh, energy and inspiration enough for a lifetime. And if not, maybe I can say a few words that could help today. And I want to speak just briefly about the fear that I am perceiving uh, all over the news media and indeed all over the, the world at this point about a new disease uh, that has uh, come into our vocabulary over about the last three months or so. The coronavirus, the, the COVID-19 uh, coronavirus. Uh, there are all sorts of generalizations being made uh, about that disease now. Uh, the panic uh, uh, generalizations and the overly optimistic generalizations. And the truth is, we really don't have enough data right now to come up with these global uh, uh, generalizations. Uh, the disease is mostly in certain uh, countries now. It's, uh, it's showing up in a lot more countries, and we know that it's, uh, it is infectious and it does spread. Uh, but in terms of uh, what does it mean for the future, uh, we have to let either our fear talk or we can do the opposite of fear and be faithful. Uh, you know, I have believed my whole life that it takes about the same amount of emotional energy uh, to panic or to pray. And we get to make that choice. But if we panic, we know, uh, need to know that we are going down a road that is filled with doubt and uncertainty and indeed with fear. And um, fear is truly the opposite of faith. I don't know much about the coronavirus, but I do know a whole lot about fear because that, that's a theological term. Fear happens in the absence of faith. And I'm a strong believer in the fact that uh, our faith is the most important thing in our lives. Uh, there is a wonderful verse in the New Testament um, that says that uh, there is no fear in love. Perfect love casts out all fear. And we know that from that passage in the first letter of John uh, that uh, the only perfect love is the love of God and Jesus Christ. Uh, that is a love that is the most powerful force in the universe. And we tap into that love when we pray. It takes about the same amount of emotional energy to panic or to pray. My encouragement for everyone today is to pray. To pray. There is great power in prayer. It unleashes forces in the spiritual realm that we cannot comprehend. Force is much powerful than any disease or any virus. Uh, forces uh, that can lift us up and bring hope into our hearts. Uh, there are people who, are tend, who tend and are prone uh, to be uh, panicked all the time. Uh, they live in a state of continuing crisis. Uh, the news media feed into that these days. I'm sorry to say my former profession before I put on the collar 30 some odd years ago, uh, there is a traffic uh, today in fear and in crisis and exploiting them for whatever purpose that uh, someone wants to exploit them for, good or bad. All I know is that we, we still know very little about the coronavirus and the, the huge predictions that are being made. Uh, I include them in my prayers. And my encouragement for you today is to take uh, all of this uh, into your prayers. Pray for those who are coming down with this new disease. Pray for the ones who have come down with the older diseases that right now have greater and higher uh, spread rates and mortality rates. And we do know a lot about them, like influenza, which has been around forever. And uh, pray for those who have those too. And while we're doing, doing all that, pray for our leaders. Uh, pray for those who are in charge of uh, orchestrating the events that are to respond to things we don't know about. They need prayer now. They don't need condemnation or criticism. Uh, they need prayer, and so do we. So my encouragement today for you is lift up your hearts. The sun came out this morning. Uh, it seems to come out all the time. Uh, George Harrison was right. Here comes the sun. Focus on that. Focus on the light. Focus on the truth. Focus on the faith. And avoid panic. It only takes you into fear. And that's the opposite of faith. Have a wonderful day today. God bless you.